Hello everyone. In this video, first I will recapitulate what we have done so far in Buckley Leverett solution of multi-phase flow in porous media. We have one dimensional porous medium in which initially we have water at conate water saturation. Oil is present at 1 minus SWC and then we are injecting water we will be producing oil or water whatever comes out from this porous medium so we did mass balance equation and using the mass balance equation we found an equation in time and space of sw and fw where sw is the saturation of water and fw is the fractional flow of water if we neglect capillary pressure and we consider that this porous medium is perpendicular to gravity so we neglect gravity then fractional flow of water is dependent on relative permeability and viscosity of oil and water and we know from relative permeability curve that relative permeability is a function of water saturation so this whole equation the secondary variable is water saturation so that means using this equation we can find water saturation as a function of space and time so how water saturation is varying in this porous medium with time and different positions now this is a hyperbolic equation and for hyperbolic equation we use method of characteristics and this equation can be reduced to this equation because fw is function of sw so we can write it in terms of dfw dsw so using this equation you can see that this equation has only one secondary variable that is water saturation the initial condition for this equation is that we have water saturation SWC at all xi's and boundary condition is because we are injecting water we assume that at xi is equal to 0 or x is equal to 0 we immediately get water saturation as 1 minus SOR that is the minimum water saturation that we can have. So using the relative permeability curve if we use this equation then we get this kind of s shaped curve we will do examples of this in later videos so now we want to solve sw as a function of time and zhao for that we used method of characteristics where we assume that we will follow a particular water saturation so if we want to follow a particular water saturation we first see how water saturation is changing as a function of tau and xi so this is the whole equation using product rule using this equation and our mass balance equation we got that the distance traveled by a particular saturation at a given time is dependent on the slope of fw versus sw curve so slope of this curve so if we use this curve then we see that there are two points which will have same slope so if we plot at a given time tau what kind of saturation we get we get a curve like this so that means this equation is satisfied for two saturations so at a given x we can have this particular saturation because the slope is dfw by dsw let's say slope is alpha and this point also has slope alpha so this saturation will also reach same xi using this equation so at a given xi or given x we will have two saturations and one trivial solution swc so swc is present at all x and at swc the slope is zero so swc does not move so we get three saturations one trivial solution swc and two solution one is sw1 one is sw2 so physically if we see in one dimensional case this is not possible because at a given x we can have only one particular saturation so we said that in these kinds of hyperbolic equation we generally get 
a shock so we calculated where we will get shock because for that we need to find that if there is a shock at this point so that means in the porous medium we will be seeing only these saturations so as i have shown here we will be seeing only these saturation then there will be shock and on the right hand side of shock we will have swc so how do we find this particular saturation which is the shock front or the front saturation for that we used water balance and using water balance we found that if we use fw versus sw curve and we draw a chord which goes till swf this is swf then this chord should also be tangent to the fw versus sw curve so the slope of this should be same so that means if we have now find this swf so we get this swf at that point we will draw a shock and this will be our saturation profile that we will get as a buckley leverett solution so we will discuss some more details in this video about this solution and what are the things that we can find using whatever we have known till now now we know that where our swf is so this is our swf which is the front saturation and this is swf and from this figure we know that we will see all saturations physically which are greater than swf so that means we won't be seeing all these saturations so these do not have any use for us in real situations so that means we will be seeing these saturations so if we are given a time tau then where these saturations have reached how do we find those so for that this equation that we have derived in the last video this is still valid for all saturations so that means if we consider a saturation this which is let's say sw1 then for this particular saturation we can draw a slope using the slope we get this particular value at a given sw1 and we multiply it with tau and find which what distance it has traveled so using that we can find okay sw1 is at this particular distance so this is xi1 for sw1 similarly if we can we can choose sw2 for sw2 we can again find another slope and using that slope we can multiply that slope with tau and then find what is the distance traveled by that particular saturation so using that we can fill in between 1 minus sor and swf where each saturation is at a given time tau now the question is that can we find average saturation behind the front so this is our front so what is the average saturation behind the front so the average saturation which is sw bar will be somewhere here so can we find that and you will see it will become very useful to find this sw bar which is average saturation in later videos so here we will just do the mathematics of how can we find sw bar we can do water balance so using water balance last time what we did was we said that the amount of water that we have injected is equal to the total amount of water that has gone inside so the amount of water that has gone inside is this so we are choosing this differential volume or suppose here is the front so here after this is swc and here we suddenly see the change in water saturation and at this front the saturation is swf that we know and behind this we choose some dx so a dx will be the volume 
फाइव ए डी एक्स विल बी द पोर वॉल्यूम मल्टीप्लाइड बाय एस डब्ल्यू माइनस एस डब्ल्यू सी विल बी द चेंज इन द वॉटर सैचुरेशन सो द टोटल वॉटर वॉल्यूम चेंज वी यूज दिस लास्ट टाइम ऑल्सो एंड वी इक्वेटेड इट टू क्यू टी ए which is the flux multiplied by area multiplied by the total time for which we have been injecting but this time this total change can also be written in terms of average saturation so average saturation we can find that a phi xf so xf is the this front so a phi xf will give us the total pore volume till the front multiplied by sw bar minus swc will give us the total new water that has come inside the porous medium till xf so this integration is still the same this is uh, the same so we cancel out a phi because they are constant we divide by l so dx will become dz dx will become dz and xf will become zf so now we integrate this so this is the integration that i have taken from the last video which i will link here this i have taken from above and this will cancel out and now i will separate zf term this will come here so this is what it will become so in the next slide we will see what happens so here 1 minus fwf tau and zf separates out as w bar minus swf so if we take tau in the denominator and sw bar minus swf in the denominator on the left hand side this is what this equation becomes so what does this show so last time we derived this in last video so zf by tau is equal to fwf minus Zero S W F minus S W C, which is equal to the slope, and now this term is also equal to one minus F W F S W bar minus S W F. So if we look at this curve, what does this signify? This signifies first of all this point is S W F F W F this point, and one S W bar is this point. If you look closely, so one is this point. and this is fw equal to 1 and this is equal to sw bar and this should have same slope zf by tau which the earlier chord or the tangent had so that means if we extend this tangent which was also a chord to to fw versus sw curve then where it intersects fw is equal to one line there we will find our sw bar so mathematically we have also proven that and we have seen it also graphically so we can find this sw bar from fw versus sw curve so now in the next video we will see from this information what are the things that we can find out about this porous medium thank you